Hello. I want to show you something. I've got so many, so many lovely things I want to show you. Um, we've just come down to Wales again. Hopefully we're here for a week unless things go wrong. And um, we had a boot full of flowers and it was rather fun. But this is the first Many. It's exciting. Oh, It's a metre of marshmallow. Did you know such things existed? I didn't know such things existed. I covered myself in um <laughs> great. Um right, where are we? I haven't done a letter from Sarah because oh, why do I always start off with lame excuses? I didn't do my homework because I get a bit sentimental at this time of year, which is always a bit rubbish. Um if you want to see me in a complete state, have a look at one of the eleven plus um, you know, the letters from Sarah, one of the old ones, it's called Sarah in a Mess. That's me, the morning of the 11 plus. I'm rubbish. So you're as well without me. Um, on a personal front, my dad has moved away to East Anglia from Guildford. And it's the first time in my life that there hasn't been an Ide, that's my family name, in Guildford. And it feels strangely disembodied. Um, but I, yeah, I, I think he's going to have a great time. He's gone to live near my brother. Um, Debrief. Let's see. About the boys. Um, the general consensus was that it wasn't hard, but you had to be fast. You had to really know what you're doing. There was no time to think or to... You just had to hit the ground running. These are the questions. Go, 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 go. Unfortunately, they also had a fire alarm in the middle of it. But they evacuated um, everybody immediately and all seems to have... These things happen that the children are well used to them. They have them every half term. Um, some of them got a bit nippy when they were waiting out outside. So if it ever happens again, and I think that's the first time in a bajillion years, um, just grab, not all your stuff, but at least a jumper or a coat. Um, the girls' school said it was hard, which they expected it to. Um, and don't worry about the last five in the maths. Nobody can ever do those. Well, you get a few that can, but it's not many. And so in many ways, they don't even really count because virtually no one can do them. You just sort of write it off as has not done. So don't panic about those. If you put in guesses, then you chances are you might have got one or two right. That will do. And actually, uh, you probably used your time better that way, making sure you got the marks you could get, putting guesses for those, um, rather than spending too long getting those wrong and then not being able to get the other ones right. Um, the, the memories of the children are very variable, even each individual child um how they remember it as they come out and then over the following days we've certainly seen this with our own daughter um it, it changes as they as they assess the situation it's a bit like birthing stories how those evolve as, as the person gets their head around what happened um they're just sort of sorting out their emotions and things um but i mean for the boys the comprehension for instance about half of them have said it involved a girl, half of them said it involved, uh, had a boy, some said it had a lion, a dog, two dogs. Um, eventually I managed to piece together how the passage went, but it, it took a long time and they, they all sound very odd and the boy-girl thing still hasn't been resolved. Um, some said for percentages turned up, some said they didn't. I think they did because I've, I've been given clear questions by a number of different children. Um, some fractions, some said they didn't. Um, but don't worry about that. It's not that the children... What we've been training the children to do for the last year is to process the information, forget it, and move on. We've not been training them to memorise things. That's a very different skill. And to stop and memorise these things would actually infect the next question. So if they're having to try and remember 17, 17, 17 they have to remember that it's 18 for the next question. So just let it go. That's, it's a good sign that they can't remember. But they do have to have this sort of follow-up processing period because it was really quite intense. Um, and, now, and now they're in the decompression stage and that's the, that's the next bit. So it's sort of like debrief, process, and now decompression. And it's great. The class time ones have come back for cocoa and cake and we've all made our <laughs> pointless bits of string. And it's been really, really lovely. They sort of start off as these sort of quite confrontational little snot goblins. And um, what's happened is, is 
they they were delightful toddlers and then they're at school and they're at clubs and they they gradually without anybody noticing it's happened been getting more and more split from the parents and then suddenly with the 11 plus doing they're doing it together and the kids are having to get to know their parents as people you know and dad isn't the person that can magically fix things and mum doesn't automatically know how to sort stuff out and and they are bad tempered everybody's bad tempered um but they really get to know so all that conflict that they start with and all those tears and and the confusion and the sheer frustration which is is huge and then that's followed by the the joys and the triumphs and the the shared endeavor that you get and at this final stage when you say goodbye to them you have a real sense that they belong to the parents again, that they're theirs, that, that this has been a family thing and, and they're a unit once more, strong and solid, before they approach the second you know, secondary school and the teenagers. Teenagers, best bit. You've got all of that to come. It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Phil, the last 10 years is brilliant. Um, wait for the next 10. It just gets better and better. Um... So no, it's, it's kind of sad to say goodbye to them, but it's a real sense of, yeah, they've, they've blossomed. Each, each one of them blossoms into the child that God made them. And it's great. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Um, and it knocks the sort of the whether they pass or fail and things into a cocked hat. That, 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 I mean, that's what I'm paid to do and I, I'll cry if I don't get them through. But um, yeah world's best job right go and have a lovely week and um i shall see you anon bye bye